My inspiration was the life and death theme you can find through all four illustrations in the set. Uh, and of course, it's uh, represented in four different ways. In the forest land, for example, it's more about life with you know all these natural elements like trees and animals and of course the central sun as the main point of focus. In Mother of Runes it was uh, also the, the life theme but this time through the, the mother, the feminine figure. So of course she is powerful because you can see these magical elements floating all around her but also uh, I really wanted to show um, a woman uh, the way I like to represent them and I think the players have had many occasions to see that I really did enjoy painting women in all my years in magic and um, the mother of runes I really wanted her to be to, to look really you know calm and confident you can see it through her stance you can see it through in her look and uh, I really wanted the I really wanted this piece to be like a synthesis of everything I think is beautiful and powerful in women. Elvish Mystic is probably the one that most obviously directly refers to the life and death duality. Um, so of course there is this also very obvious hint to Shakespeare's Hamlet. And um, the the life element once again comes from natural, the nature surrounding the character. And also what I've always liked to do is to uh, paint forest, of course, but also painting characters that really felt like they were born from the forest itself, like they were dressed from the forest. And uh, that's what uh, the Elvish Mystic is about. For Death Shadow, I really wanted to have a very classical approach because classical artists are probably one of my main sources of inspiration in my work. So um, in Death Shadow, you have this very strong um, hint to the, the Pieta theme. Um, of course, it is translated into a fantasy looking image. Also, Death Shadow is really special for me because while I was working on this uh, artist series, I was actually mourning a, um, a family member. So I probably put a lot of my uh, of the feelings I had back then, uh, a lot of my sorrow in this image. And also, this is a good occasion for me to, to really thank uh, Ari Zirulnik, who is the writer from Wizards of the Coast, who helped me create the flavor texts uh, in the four cards. What I really had to do, actually, was to explain uh, in a few lines what were my inspiration sources for the cards and what I wanted to express. And he just came up with the most beautiful bits of poetry for each one of the cards and I think that uh, his work is probably one of the many reasons why I'm, I'm really proud about this, uh, this artist series so I really want to thank him for that. To me, this card set is like a heartfelt thank you to Magic the Gathering and of course to players. And that's the reason why what I tried to achieve is to stay pretty close to what people have grown to know me for through all my years working for Magic. That is to say, of course, human representations and in a more general way, uh, images with poetry but still with a touch of darkness going on and uh, a strong use of shadow and light and characters expressions and attitudes and all and so yeah uh, I hope players will also like them for that.
These cards are pretty unique for two reasons, I think. The first reason is that they are a rare occasion for a magic artist to do something we completely choose. When I received the commission email from the art director, Tom Jencott, he immediately explained that I could really let my imagination run free with this card, that there would be like no art direction, which I felt really lucky about. And uh, I think that's the reason why players could hardly get something more personal than that. And the second reason why they are special, at least to me, is that they are being released in 2022. And 2022 is my 10 years anniversary working for Magic the Gathering. So when I mentioned that these cards were like an occasion for me to say thank you to Magic and to the players, it couldn't be more true. Uh, I mean, this artist series is like a huge gift I've been given and what I want to give back is like to say thank you to the Wizards of the Coast team who's been trusting me for 10 years and also a big thank you to Magic players, to the Magic community who's been giving me kindness and support from the earliest years of my work in Magic and um, they are a big part of my motivation whenever I'm working on anything Magic related so yes, what I simply want to say to everyone is merci beaucoup. <laughs>